Walsingham operation was a success. I sent the troops back to Southern Command for a well-earned rest. I was taking Hale to the Intelligence Division at Northern Command for debriefing. I radioed Northern Command on our approach. No response. As we landed, I could already sense the worst. The whole place was deathly silent. Oh boy, here we go again. Hey guys, and welcome back to Resistance Fall of Man. Well, she did say she'd sent the men back for a well-deserved rest. I mean, I guess they're all taking the big nap now. This is bad. <laughs> this is really bad. 13th of July as well. Oof. Well, let's see if we can't unfuck this situation. Well, luckily, Hale here is cut off. But things go pretty bad pretty quick for old Hale. Oh, man. This is a really rough opening. But you kind of expect that to come back to your base and find that it's been completely overrun. Also, the this smoke effect here is really cool. I like it, but the PlayStation 3 doesn't like it. <laughs> so, you know. Uh, anyway, um, there is some goodies around here. Excellent. Yeah, this is kind of rough in here. Laboratory, railhead, living quarters. Oof. Okay, well, I don't think there's much living going on in those quarters, but we shall find out. And I'm stuck. I'm stuck on things. I think we killed everyone. I hope we killed everyone. Oof. I really like this bunker. This really feels like um, <laughs> a secret underground kind of apocalypse bunker. You know, the last resort. The, uh, the angel? I'm, 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 I'm sorry, did you say angel? What the hell's an angel? Anyway, um, this place is bad. You know, when you've got a few of these big bunkers left that's just stacked full of soldiers, and that's basically, you know, all your eggs are in these baskets, and you come home to find your eggs totally smashed. Yeah, it's bad. And goody gumdrops just what we wanted. Some crawlers. I don't think the kitchen's open, guys. But then, I suppose they've already eaten the chef. Now, this mission's kind of iffy as well, because you need to keep checking behind you, because all these doors that you, you think these doors are locked... But I swear, you get some sneaky, sneaky chimera that just seem to come out of nowhere on your asshole. And that's not where you want to be. Now, also, behind these boxes, there's some goodies. I don't think we can destroy these boxes. Boo! You can smash the wooden crates, but I guess cardboard boxes are a little bit too strong. That's okay. Alright, this place certainly been mined out. You can't open any of these doors either, which is unfortunate. Uh, this will switch back up to the carbine. Oof. Oh! Hello! That was something new, wasn't it? 
That was definitely something new. Something a little bit oh, quick moving. <laughs> Couldn't help it. Couldn't resist. Yeah. Oh, see what I mean? Do you see what I mean? There was nothing behind us. There was nothing behind us. And then all of a sudden, they were behind us. Don't like that. I don't like enemies spawning behind you for no reason. Sneaky bastards. Oh, hello. Not quite sure where he came from. I think he was hiding in there. Might have been sitting on his seat. Git. Git. Absolute git. Right, well, let's just fill up on all this ammo and goodies anyway. Ooh, hello. Lovely. Hey, guys. Yeah, if you go down and get that secret cache of goodies, these guys will spawn behind you. Oh, we've got one round left. Ooh, yeah. That's not very nice. Oof. Definitely could have been worse. These guys look mental. They're kind of like hybrids, but they're more evolved, more dangerous hybrids. Uh, they're just standard grenades, I think. Well, that's fine. We'll have some standard grenades. Okay. So, a couple of these guys are dead. I mean, look at the surgery that these guys go through. It's very invasive. Oh. I see you. Sneaking, hiding. Like a damn pervert in the dark. Oof. He's had enough. I don't quite get this. Re the reload animations for these weapons, I think, are way too fast. You almost might as well not have any. Right, there is uh, intel here. Which is... Now, apparently I missed one of the intels when I played through this one last time. We haven't done Somerset yet. But Cheshire... So we've got the invasion, which basically just shows us the path of the invasion. Um, so they they hit London as soon as they could, really. Like London was the first target as soon as they got to the UK, which leads me to think that something really big was buried there, or maybe because you know London would have been the centre of the planet back then I mean it's still the financial capital of the world now right well let's keep creeping oh hi hello good god that guy's got an auger and he knows how to use it apparently I'd like to get my hands around his neck Let's start using our own one, shall we? Come on, baby. Yes. Yes, the uh, like it's a cool idea, but in practice it's yeah, it's not great. Okay. At least we can always pick up ammo. Although you only seem to get like six rounds from these guys. You never get a lot of ammo. Oh, that's going to hurt. That's going to sting. Now, if you had some kind of like thermal vision or something to go along with this weapon. I think it would help. Although, to give it credit, it is highlighting. 
stuff that we can shoot. Which is fun. Oh. But it is a much more fun weapon than the bullseye. It's just more uh, entertaining to use. At least I think so. Due to its rapid fire. Destruction. Anyway, let's go look for some goodies. Because we like goodies. Ooh, fra frame rate is... Oof, a bit weird there. Now we can hear something creeping and crawling, can't we? Mmm, sounds like somebody's making porridge. Or maybe potato salad. That's what that is. Or even macaroni cheese. Oh, dude, why do I want macaroni cheese now? God damn it. Maybe that's an idea for dinner later. Good old mac and cheese. At least we're on full health. We've run dry of all of our auger ammo. Which ain't fantastic. So what is making all that gribbly noise in here? Ugh. Yeah, they're fun. They're leaper eggs. And that was not great. There we go. Leaper eggs are a pain. Um... They act essentially like organic mines. If we get too close to these eggs, they'll burst out and uh, go all necromorph on you. So you need to be careful of that. All right. I think that's the first place you can actually find them, to be honest. Let's go grab up all these goodies. Mm, much better. Okay, well, no time for tears. So let's keep moving. Check these rail cars out, though, because you never know. You never know. Oh, lovely. Thank you very much. I remember that's there. Plenty of health and ammo scattered around. Almost as if they expect us to do heavy combat. Pasted his ass all over the floor. Shit. That's all she wrote for the auger. Oh, hey guys. Oh, looks like they're getting a little bit close in the showers together. I don't judge. It's probably quite lonely. Probably very lonely. Oh, God. A bit rough, wasn't it? Oh, there's always more, though. Always more. Get wrecked. We came, we saw, we sterilized. Get some more shotgun shells. I really wish we could hold more ammo in this game. That's uh, one thing that. Oh, hello, mother. Was that you? It may have been. A couple of frags. Nice. Actually, let's go back. Ooh. Go back and harvest up any more gear. So the Rossmore, it really is stingy, isn't it? You can only hold uh, 24 shotgun shells, which is really bad. Remember in Halo 1, where you can hold something ridiculous, like uh, 150 shotgun shells? And uh, the shotgun in the oh, oh in the Halo shotgun man oh what a monster what a monster now that's one thing I, I will say of Halo I mean the weapons are questionable you know considering that game is set 500 years into the future and we're basically using weapons which uh, on paper look worse than we have uh, these days but they sound good and they feel good you know don't forget Halo um, CE the first game predates this game by is it five years 
Yeah, five years. Evening. But with all my criticisms, I do wish they continued with this. Oof. Because they kind of left, um, from what I can remember anyway, they kind of left the games on a bit of a brutal cliffhanger. Um, or maybe it wasn't a cliffhanger. I can't remember. I need to play them again. <clears throat> oh. Hello. Something large is moving around. Oh. Something small is moving around too. Oh. Hello. Remember when I said we have something new? We do. Got these weird little skeletal bouncy boys. You ever play the original Half-Life? You get those female assassin ninjas? Yeah, I think those on steroids. But that's okay. They're actually kind of weak. But they do move frighteningly fast. Now those guys are uh, Chimera. They are the Slip Skulls. Slip Skulls are cunning opportunists who prefer to take pot shots and make blind sliding attacks or blind siding attacks rather than face their opponents with their speed and stealth. They excel as scouts and ambushers. The discovery of Slip Skulls requires immediate engagement to prevent them from summoning Chimeran reinforcements. Explosives are recommended are the recommended response. Really? Explosives? Are you sure? I mean, you hock a grenade at one of these motherfuckers and he's going to be gone in 30 seconds. So, um, okay. Hybrid bullseye rifles and the Slip Skull's own Reaper carbines are also suitable. I like the way it mentions the Reaper carbines there because we don't have those yet. <laughs> but okay. And we got the leaper pods too. Leapers are spawned from membranous sacs known as leaper pods. It is believed that these pods are deposited by other chimeran strains, possibly widowmakers. Spawning is triggered by local vibrations. The pods function as living mines. Caution should be observed in chimeran held territories, as early detection of leaper pods has the potential to save lives. Explosives such as grenades and rockets can destroy the pods before they release the leapers within. Yeah. Interesting, guys. You know, this little handbook that we carry in our back pocket that gets filled out as we go through the game. Really, really nice touch. I am such a fan of that sort of stuff. Alright, looks like this is the command. Is this command and control? I wouldn't have thought the barracks... It doesn't say. I wouldn't have thought the barracks would be this uh, comfortable, should we say. And you can see they've been tunneling through. Look at these perfect little tunnels they've created. Eesh. Yeah, don't freak yourself out. If you walk into these, it makes a humongous bang and clang for some reason. Look at these little guys. Interesting. They have their um, weapons, like, fused to them. Which is cool. Which is why you can't just take them. Uh, I'm a fan of that. Now... We have intel here. I actually picked this intel up, uh, but if we have a gander, it didn't save for some reason. I don't know why, but whatever. Unless I died and maybe I got a checkpoint and I didn't. It didn't give it back to. Me. I don't know. It doesn't. It doesn't matter. We can just get it again. But that's all it is. It's schematics, and it's not all that exciting. But, you know, we're going to get it. Now, let's get out of here. Is 
something wicked this way comes. Get some health. Nope, we're good. Well. That was interesting. Uh, hopefully we don't have to fight that thing. Kind of reminds me of the worm from Gears of War. Like Gears of War 2. Gears of War 3 maybe. The worm. That was cool. So this is how they can tunnel so well. And to be honest. <laughs> there ain't much defense against that now is there? Well, I'm not going to sit here and worry about it too much. Now, documents. I'm curious. Okay. That was a specimen tank. Alright. Got ya. Okay, let's go. Now we also got another weapon. That's what I was confused about. We also got another weapon. Um, we got the air fuel grenade. The number 42 air fuel grenade has been issued for combating Chimera in the tight spaces commonly found in ermine conflicts. A thrown grenade adheres to most surfaces and immediately releases a cloud of flammable vapor. Once deployed, the cloud is ignited, creating a massive explosion. The resulting heat and pressure wave will cause vast injuries to anything caught in the blast. With their reliance on external cooling systems, the Chimera are especially susceptible to damage. These things, these are cool. These are really, really good weapons. Um, I think up to this point in the game, they're by far the best uh, weapons they're absolutely devastating uh, the hedgehog is very hit and miss it it's an interesting design the hedgehog grenade is chimera anti-personnel munition it is thrown like an ordinary hand grenade upon landing it springs up and expands into a spiny cluster at its kill height the hedgehog fires spines in all directions with enough force to pin targets against nearby walls the effect of this is especially deadly in confined quarters. <sighs> Again, it's making that weapon sound way, way better than it actually is. It's an interesting weapon. It's not bad, but it's nowhere near as effective as that makes it sound. And then we have the standard issue frag grenades, which are just little party crackers really the then these are not great <laughs> the number 22 fragmentation grenade is a standard issue anti-personnel munition used throughout the british armed forces the grenade has an exposed fuse which releases irritating smoke prior to the detonation while not hazardous in the quantities produced it does discourage the target from picking up and throwing back the grenade the fragmentation grenade is ideal for assaulting entrenched enemy positions or attacking around corners yeah so, it is what it is, you know. Smoke them if you got them, I guess, but they're nothing to write home about. Ooh. Oh, I knew he'd spotted me because I just heard the PlayStation's uh, disk drive spin up. It's like, you, you can tell something's about to happen when it starts chewing the disk. Uh really wish you could install games on the PlayStation 3. And I did like that they added that feature to the 360. You could just install your games to the hard drive. But why? That's such a pointless feature. Well, Jackass, uh, it's actually a really cool ability for saving wear and tear on your disk drive. Because what is one of the main failure points of consoles? That's right. The laser. So if you can reduce the wear and tear. Do it. But to be fair. Hopefully the, the slim that I have is pretty reliable. 
I have thought about buying a backup laser for it, whilst you can still get them. I know if you hack your PS3, you can actually just rip all the games to your hard drive, which I would like to do. Ooh, dude. But my uh, PS3, I believe, kind of like the last of the line Xbox 360, cannot be hacked. Unless things have changed. It is like the last model, um, which has never been cracked, unfortunately. Maybe I'll buy a, another one at some point that I can hack. Right. Oop. Hello. Oh, evening, sweet cheeks. What do you think of that, huh? Was that your brother? Ooh, fuel air grenade. Also, can we take a minute to appreciate the fire effects of this game? It's kind of a simple sort of design, but they look amazing. One of the kind of, even by today's standards, they hold up really well. Come on, you son of a bitch. There we go. Whew. Yeah, the flame effects have held up wonderfully. I really am a fan. Now, I think there was some intel around here. If I'm not mistaken. Ooh. So I'm guessing the all these are spots where they've attacked. Black spots here, I guess. Does that make sense? Maybe. Seems to be the only image that's actually up here. Oh yeah, there we go. Chimeran species origins. Got ya. Oh, well, looks like we've found the power station. probably be a good idea to get this place back up and running as best we can. Oh, shotgun shells. Are you trying to tell me that I need to take my shotgun for a walk game? Look at these transformers here. I don't really know how this power station works, because none of this stuff's actually connected to anything, but hey, we'll, we'll, we'll ignore that for now. Oh, hey, doggy. Oh God. Yeah, these pooches, they really don't play nice. There should be two of them. Oh, hello. Oh, you're not a very smart fellow, are you? That's okay. That was rather silly of you. Well, I'm not complaining. I'll take the free kill. I don't know if there's ever anything in these boxes either. Um, I, I swear I have found things in those boxes before. But I could be thinking of a different game. I'm not sure. Let's go smash them open see if we can find anything. Uh, nothing in those. Uh, maybe not. I don't know. You can't really hold a lot of supplies in this game anyway, so... That's why I'm quite happy that you can hold so many um, weapons. Look at all these batteries. Oof. I guess they're batteries. Makes sense whilst they're linked like that. So you've got these generators here, I guess, producing power. And these massive old... Um, I guess they'll be zinc. No, they'll be lead acid batteries back then, wouldn't they? Oof. Be absorbing all that charge. Okay. I wonder if it'd be interesting actually if Sony rebooted this game and have it set in the modern age. That would be interesting. But I think that would probably be unpopular, maybe. I had been trying to radio hell since the cave in. I knew how the Chimera had found Northern Command, and more importantly, I knew why. They were after what the convoy had been carrying in Manchester. 
Angel. It's been carefully sealed in a specimen tank in our research lab. We thought it would be unable to call the Khmer from within the tank. We were badly mistaken. There was no way to warn Hale of the danger he was in. If he opened that tank, the result could be disastrous. What was inside would either kill him or control him. So it's some kind of big fat brain bug.